video we are going to study about the properties of transfer function as the definition of transfer function says that it is the ratio of the laplace transform of the output and the laplace transform of the input under the assumption that all the initial conditions are zero so the first property of transfer function is The transfer function is the mathematical model which expresses the relationship between the input and the output of the system and this relationship is described by a linear time invariant differential equation now the second property of the transfer function is The transfer function is independent of the magnitude and the nature of the input. Whatever be the magnitude of the input, whether it is 10, if it, it is 20, it is 30, it does not affect the transfer function of the system. And also the nature of the input, it also does not affect the transfer function. So these are the properties. The third property is, Transfer function does not provide any information about the physical structure of the system. We know that the system, it consists of various components. So the transfer function, it does not provide us any information that how many numbers of components are present in the system and how they are connected, what is the sequence of their connection. So no information about the physical structure of the system is provided by the transfer function. The fourth property of transfer function is Transfer function of systems which are physically different with each other, it can be identical. It may be possible that there are two systems which are physically very different. The number of components is also different, their connections is also different and they are uh, different in their physical structure or we can say construction. So if they are physically different, it can be possible that their transfer function can be identical. So there are cases when two different systems can have same transfer function.
If the transfer function is known, the output response can be understood or it can be studied for various inputs to understand the nature of the system. So if we know that what is the transfer function of the system, then we can apply different inputs to that system and we can get the output response for different types of inputs so in this way we can understand that what is the nature of the system like we are applying various inputs like step input ramp input parabolic input so when we apply these different inputs to our system then we will get different outputs so by starting these various outputs for various inputs we can understand the nature of the system so transfer function helps us in finding the nature of the system so these five are the properties of the transfer function i hope you have understood the topic well thank you